so I am doing a client watch me work but this is my mum my mum's having her nails done this is a little before my mum is a hairdresser and she's had her nails on for how long I can't remember three to four weeks longer probably for, I'd say four weeks you've had your nails on and currently on your nails you have got ugly duckling number 146 with some Dixie plates stamping florals over the top. I did a live video on my Instagram on these nails but now we are going to redo them and I thought I'd film them for you guys on my YouTube channel and do a client watch me work on my lovely mother. So what colour are you fancying today? I like the look, I love this one. This one, that's quite nice. That dusty mauve maybe. Yeah, maybe those three, but it depends on what we're gonna do with them. All three of them, yeah? Yeah, the, def the definitely definite is that one, has to be. And then these Jeez, can be accent one. colors. So I'm just gonna quickly remove the old design using my e-file, remove off the old colour and infill with the gel bottle ink builder in a bottle and then we'll be right back to the design because that's the fun bit. Just spray and sanitise. Mask on. Protect your lungs. Wear a mask. <laughs> Just want to quickly mention that my mum is a hairdresser and if you see any staining on her nails, these are all her natural nails, that is due to hair dye. As you can see here, there is hair dye all inside your nails and they are all stained. So and if you blue see shampoo. and blue shampoo. So if you see any um, staining on the natural nails, that is what that is because you're naughty and don't wear gloves. I sometimes wear gloves, but not all the time. It's hard to foil. In fact, that is blue shampoo for maintaining nice blonde highlights. Lovely. Please stop wearing gloves. Okay, so we're going to take a length down now. Yeah? Yep. Are you happy with the length of those? Yes, thank you. Sure? Yeah. Sure, 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 yeah. sure. Completely yeah, happy? So. Okay, we'll do the other hand. Okay, so I've removed the old design with my e-file. There are still bits of blue polish um, left on. And I've filed back and we've got the builder in a bottle from the gel bottle ink overlay on the natural nails. So now we're gonna go and we're just going to shape the nails and prep the new growth nail plate here. So file around here, make sure the product that's on the nail is nice and blended and remove any of the last little bits of polish and give them a nice shape up and make them a nice shape. So are you happy with the shape that they were before? Yes, thank you. So do you want them yes, please, like pointy right. almondy? Yes, yeah, not too pointy. Turning the hand around, making sure it's not wonky, it's good from the client's view. You. you happy with that? Yes. And then I'm going to go and do all the other nails. Can you please check your nails over for me from your angle and let me know if there's any way you would like changing.
think they look good, thank you. Sure there's no way you want changing? Not that I can see. Let me just check them. And then like that for me. Relax the hands a little bit. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Going to be using the gel bottle ink, build it in a bottle in number 20. This is good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good stuff. You need to get some of this. If you want your nails to grow long and strong, you need to get some of this stuff. Builder in a bottle from the gel bottle ink. My mum has an overlay on her natural nails and it works wonders. Wipe over your nails with some acetone to dehydrate and prep. Let's check them from the sides, down the barrel, at the top. I'm happy that hand can go in the lamp and we'll flash cure them in place. To reduce heat spikes, do flash cures of three to five seconds and build it up over time and then do your full cure after about 15 seconds of flash curing. That will reduce heat. How are you finding that? Can I put it on for a full cure? Okay, I'm gonna put it on for a full cure now. Okie dokie, so both hands are done now. I've been filled with the gel bottle ink. Filled it in a bottle number 20, which is this one here. And this is what the nails look like. So depending on how well you can infill them, you won't need to do much refining. Maybe you won't need to do any refining at all. If you've applied the gel really well, you could go straight on with your gel polish application now. I do like to refine slightly to just get that perfect crisp shape, but it will only be a little bit. Sometimes I only need to buff over the top of the nail. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna wipe over the nails and just get rid of that sticky inhibition layer. So some of these don't need much work at all. I'm just roughly going over them because that the gel application is pretty smooth. Sometimes some need more work than others. But it's really important to do this step around the cuticle area, in my opinion, because you can get a really nice, smooth, flush area. And then when you apply your gel polish, it creates a really seamless effect. like to scrub over with a little scrubby brush. To get all the dust out. Okay, do you wanna check them over, make sure you're 100% happy and I'll start working on the other hand. How are the other now? That hand Hi, looking? You. Sure, you sure? Yep. Okay, so that nail is going to be that. Right. Yeah? That nail is going to be this. Okay. Glittery. Yeah. Then these two are going to be the base of that with the marbly thing. I don't know that I like two next to each other being marbly. No? Maybe there's one marbly. Okay, one marbly. Maybe. What am I having on this? The others then? Okay, so ring finger is marbly. Ring finger is marble, then that finger as that, and then this finger what as that. What if I don't like it? Mm, I'm afraid you're gonna have to like it. <laughs> no, if you don't like it, do you not like those colours? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, 
So we'll start with that then. Okay. Index okay. finger and baby finger is number 94 from Ugly Duckling. Then ring finger, we're gonna do a number 140, also from Ugly Duckling. And then the middle finger and thumb is number 61. The colors are so yummy. I know. I'll leave links in the description box down below as to where you can find all of these products. Ugly Duckling has some of my absolute fave gel polishes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I wouldn't normally paint nails this way, but as you, my lovely mother was unsure on what she wanted. Just thought I'd whack them on. So you won't see much of this color because it's gonna have all that marbly on it. Yeah. I love this color. What, this glittery one? Oh, so gorgeous. It's one of my new ones. Only arrived the other day. <gasps> so beautiful. That hand can go into the lamp. Okay, gonna go in with our second coat on the glittery nails and these two nails, and we're gonna leave that one plain for now because we're gonna do the smelt it blooming design on that finger. Okie dokie, that hand can go into the lamp. The reason why I left this one without a second coat is because one, it's super pigmented anyway, and two, because we're gonna now use the Ugly Duckling Schmelt It in Clear, which is like a blooming gel. So I'm just gonna apply one thin coat of this on top of that nail, covering the whole nail. No, oh, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. What are you going to be like that for? I'm just checking to see if you're worried or not. No. Do you trust me? If I don't me? like it, you're going to take it off. <laughs> okay then. Right. It's the balls. So, and down here, you probably already noticed, I've got some of 94 and also 61 of the gel polishes from Ugly Duckling, which are these two colours here, out on my little palette down here, as well as I'm going to get a little bit of the Schmelt It, which is the blooming gel, and apply that down there as well. And I'm just going to use my Ugly Duckling Detailer Number 2 Brush. And I've just got a little bit of lint pad with a tiny bit of acetone on it which I'm just wiping off my brush lightly so I've applied one layer of that schmelt it and I'm just gonna randomly drag this through and see what happens and then I'm gonna take some of the glittery one as well and drag that through as well. I'm just going to wait. And then I'm going to go in with some of the Schmelt It, which is the bleeding gel, and drag it through again where we've put some of the things. And that will help it push and bleed out. It kind of looks like water marble now. Yeah, I, I think like, that looks I really like pretty. Water marble. Okay, so that hand needs to go in. This is lovely. She likes it, she likes it. Are you happy, mother? Yeah. <laughs> right, we're gonna repeat the same process. And I think the beauty of this is you can never get the same thing twice. Oh, look at that. It's like sort of a raspberry ripply. It's like a raspberry oh, ripple. It's gorgeous. Look at the raspberry ripple. I hope you can see. I can't see if you're in focus or not. I really like it. I love it. Amazing, right. <laughs> I'm gonna have that hand there, because obviously they're still sticky, just to use that as my guide. So I'm gonna drag that first color through in the same way that I did the other one, roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Then I'm going to drag through the glittery one. Back through the other colour. Like that. Tiny bit there. Then I'm going to let it bleed for a little bit before I go in and use the clear smelter again. So let it bleed for a minute. And then I'm going to go back in with the clear smelt it and drag it back through these ones here to make it bleed some more and then cure that in the lamp those of you who are wanting to know these are the three colors we've used in this design they're these three here and then so we've got number 94 which is this one number 61 which is this one and then also number 140 which is this one here and i also use ugly duckling it in clear which is the blooming gel okay so i'm gonna go in with my very well loved and dusty ugly duckling top coat it's their no wipe top coat i'm gonna apply it to every nail and then we'll be back okay so we've just finished top coating we're going to let them cool. I always like to leave them to cool for a couple of minutes. Well, a minute or two, just to let them really cool before we put the cuticle oil on. Um, I also would like to do a cure of 60 seconds at the end just to make sure they're properly cured. So I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil to finish the service. Then I always like to go in and I remove my gloves using a little lint-free pad. And I like to go over the nail, and give it a good buff up and shine to make it super shiny. That's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe to you. That's buffed them up. Makes them really shiny because the cuticle oil can I kind of, um, when it goes on the nails, it just kind of creates a coating, like a smeary coating. So you've got top hand has been buffed and shined, the bottom hand hasn't. You can kind of see that smeariness. It's not quite clear. So I like to buff them up, make them really, really shiny. And there we are, you are all done. Beautiful, thank you. Do you like them? Absolutely stunning. Okay, now, we have got to take some photos of these bad boys. So I thought I'd leave the camera rolling so you can see how I take photos. So I'm just gonna turn my camera phone off now. I'm gonna turn you guys off and I'm gonna use this to take some photos of the nails. So this is the finished result of my mum's nails. They look awesome. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Are you happy with them? I love them. You're really happy? So cool. So cool. Raspberry ripple. Yeah, raspberry ripple nails. Love a good raspberry ripple nails. Move them about, show the sparkle. They're like up and down. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, mm, not quite working. <laughs> right, let's do another position. So I'm going to say goodbye. Smile, Mum. Goodbye. Can I have a cup of tea now? Yeah.